2004, easily the most remarkable and remarked upon Meredith that's been. Our biggest fear throughout all the years was to get a lightning storm, hail, you know, ferocious winds, driving rain, and we got it. We, we, got, we got the 100 year storm. How bad is this weather report for Victoria? Never, ever before. It's all of it. The Mallee has got rain. And if you go down here, it says, where does it say mould? And it was like, it was like being in hell. <laughs> it was just every single one of our worst fears. And they were all happening at once. It was raining so hard, you couldn't see your hand in front of your face. It's just terrifyingly ominous. The most unbelievable thing I'd ever seen, there was sideways wind and rain so heavy you could hardly see and electrical storms. It was, it was surreal, it really was. It was probably one of the wildest storms I can actually recall. And hit them with lightning and torrential rain again. Just in my experience of you, all the years, I don't think I can remember one as wild. It was very stressful, really, that, that night. It was incredible. I've never seen such weather, I don't think. Um, there were meetings being held and various groups were getting together saying, can we deal with this? Should we be shutting it down? The worst 10 minutes of my life, we had to consider whether we would shut down the power to the site. As the time grew near for us to make a decision, the rain stopped and everyone just looked at each other and smiled and just walked away and went back on with their jobs. Probably the, the good thing that came out of that storm was that I sat there and watched the crowd of Mer Meredith rally and they rallied and they had a ball. It was, you could see people were just going, we're at Meredith and we're not going to be defeated by a bit of rain. Not only that, that had people from the crowd just coming up and asking them what they could do to help. You know, people that weren't getting paid or, or rostered to work, just, you know, what can we do to help? Yeah, it was, it was remarkable. But talking to people the next morning, no one seemed to be terrible worried, other than a bit of mud around them and a few bog cars, I think. <laughs> They're pretty happy. We were getting reports on the radio there's torrential rain in Ballarat, which is half an hour away. It's the worst the, the city's ever seen. It all started gathering again, and I'm just thinking, oh my God, it's going to pound us on the main Saturday night. We're not going to be able to have bands. It's just going to be a disaster. I remember watching the storm clouds blow over on the Saturday, just before the Dirty Three played. And amazingly enough, the storm seemed to split in two and just go either side of us. They were a very special band to Chris. It's always an emotional time for us having them play at the festival and that kind of natural event going on just summed up our feelings. Nolsey was in his tent watching the Dirty Three, this little tent structure called the Nolan Stand, and I was thinking about him watching them and just thinking how intense that must have been. My God, it was indescribable. <laughs> 